the main event of the show. If I can even lift this up, maybe I should just insert a picture. Ugh, it's heavy. Really heavy. It or break anything else you guys on Instagram because your girl has been up to a little mischievous shopping lately and I just hi you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new just welcome how are you today's video is a little bit different it's an Amazon haul I don't usually do haul videos very often but I just thought I would ask you guys on Instagram because your girl has been up to a little mischievous shopping lately and I just thought that I would ask you guys if you want to see it on Instagram and if you guys don't follow me over there you should you should because it's a lot of daily updates a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you don't get to see here on my channel so if you're not following me go ahead and give your girl a follow if you want to and you guys said that you wanted to always hitting this door you guys said that you wanted to see what I got like not even one person said no so I was like okay I need to film this I haven't opened all of these things yet but there are a few things that your girl had to open already and put into use because I just could not wait and I have things to show you so let's go ahead let's jump into this video I will try to leave as many links down below none of them are affiliated by the way I don't really do the affiliate links so none of the links down below will be affiliates and um, yeah so feel free to shop them not shop them look at them whatever oh i need some water because that intro was long okay so starting out with something random in no particular order um okay real quick <laughs> a lot of the stuff that i did buy is coffee related um your girl loves coffee and has decided to step up her coffee game why am i talking about her like third person me myself i i decided to step up my coffee game and just take it to the next level if not a few more levels than where i'm at now I currently have a Keurig and I am just over her and I just wanted to upgrade my Keurig so here's gonna be a lot of updates in this video on coffee so I hope you guys like coffee I mean who doesn't like coffee there's a few people but I love coffee and I really wanted to take it up a few notches so I think we definitely did that and I have achieved that I will let you know how I like all these products in the future so stay tuned in like a vlog or something and I will give you guys the update but um yeah I just needed some stronger coffee in my life so with that being said I'm gonna start out with something random that's not even coffee but I got these clothes hangers these nice wooden clothes hangers I am 26 years old and have never had a matching set of hangers so I just thought it was time to upgrade that as well and just get them really oh my gosh no respect opening the bag or as Canadians say how do they say it the bag um anyway so I got this hanger this hanger it came with a set I'm just showing you one because they're already hung up in my closet but the point is the point is they all match okay so all of the hangers match finally at my age I was able to finally do that like I had plastics and different color wood not saying that there's anything wrong with that but I just really really wanted some that all match so I got this set that came with 30 hangers and they're really good quality and I love them and they have the no slip little groove right here which I love it catches all of my slippery slidey clothes and it just keeps them in place so I already have these hung up in my closet hence why I'm just showing one not like I need to show all 30 here on camera so here you go got the hangers love that for some kitchen items I definitely needed some more organization in my kitchen and the reason why you're hearing clanking of silverware is because there's silverware already in here so I have you know all the basics and I have been loving that so obviously this is already in use but um, I will link it down below it's really nice I love it love it love it so far okay so the next thing I got that's already in use that I just could not wait for. I have a whole organizing video. I don't know if it'll go up probably before this one. I don't know. But all these things are going to be in the organizing video. So you'll see like where they're at and what I did with them. But the this is just a jar. Just a jar with a nice wooden top. I really wanted more jars to jar my stuff obviously right. So this is bread flour that's in here currently and I just have these on top of my fridge. The main event of the show, if I can even lift this up, maybe I should just insert a picture. Ugh. It's heavy. Really heavy. <sighs> Definitely inserting a picture would have been easier. 
Okay, it's not even gonna fit into frame. Are you serious? All that effort? Okay. <laughs> This is ridiculous. This is what I got. This is the Breville Barista Express. This is ginormous. As you guys can tell, it's very heavy. I'm going to go ahead and put it down oh, and not break it, hopefully, or break anything else. All right, so I got the Breville Barista Express, which I am so, so excited for. I can't even tell you guys how excited I am to make espresso. If you don't know, espresso is just a really concentrated version of coffee, but it's like the purest form, basically, I think. Um, but I cannot wait to start sipping espresso, making all of the drinks. I'll share the drinks. I'll share my favorite recipes, of course, here on my channel when we get there. And I'm so excited to get into espresso and just try latte art and all of the things. So I'm very excited for that. Um... This is like a whole set too, so it comes with a few different things. It has like the milk steamer, it has the tamper, it has a few things, but I did go ahead and buy a few accessories. So starting out, I got this really nice milk, milk steaming container, pourer, I don't know, but I love it. And I thought it was going to be a little bit more brassy, but it's honestly a really pretty kind of gold color. And it has like all the milliliters and stuff that you need on there. So I'm really excited. And I hear this is really good for latte art, which I'm excited to try my hand at. And then I also got this really cute little cup. So I can pull my espresso in here and then transfer it into like a coffee cup or whatever. Or I mean, if you wanted to sip it out of here, I guess you could, but I'm probably not going to do that. Um, but it just has like the measurements and the milliliters on here for drawing your espresso, extracting, drawing, what is the correct term? For pulling your espresso, there you go. Lots of different coffee terminologies that I've been learning lately. Something else to go along with that is the vanilla bean infused simple syrup, which I am so excited to try in my coffees, very excited. I love anything vanilla, vanilla bean, so good. Is that, you guys, there's another part of the coffee section i went a little coffee crazy like let me go get the items okay so i have gotten some more coffees because i just wanted to have different like ways and configurations of brewing brewing methods i wanted different brewing methods for my coffee and so i have been seeing a lot of the chemex floating around so i took these things out of the boxes so you could see but here are the boxes if you really want to know what the box looks like i don't know why you would but this is the chemex and you put ground coffee in here freshly ground coffee and then you do a pour over so it's a pour over coffee and i'm so excited to try it i am so excited to try this i hear that your coffee is a lot stronger and it's brewed a lot better coming from something like this like the chemex like a pour over coffee really excited for this so i think this is pour over and the keurig would be like a drip coffee there's so many ways to brew your coffee and i'm so interested and fascinated by all the science of coffee now and i just love it so i'm really excited to try my hand at the chemex and all different pouring techniques and stuff like that so i'm really excited to try the chemex and along with the chemex i needed a gooseneck kettle because i hear it makes a big difference with the way you pour for pour over coffee so I really needed a good kettle just to like this is what you do you just like pour over I'm gonna have to work on this technique and get this right because I know it kind of matters if you guys have done pour over coffee let me know down below in the comments let me know if there's anything that I need to know and then the gooseneck kettle I got is the brewista it's supposed to be a really good one and I am so excited. You could brew tea in here as well. Look at the beautiful like wood detailing and I'm so excited. You just put it on this little heating table and then it brews. So you don't even have to put this on. I don't even know if you could put this on a burner. I don't, I don't think you can put this on the burner, but I think you have to put it on here. I'm not really sure. So this is an artisan gooseneck kettle and I'm really excited to try my hand at pour over coffee. I think that will be so fun. And then I also got the Chemex papers as well to go along with 
I also got the Chemex papers to go along with the Chemex because I know I'm going to need something to filter the grounds. Obviously, you don't want to just put the grounds in here, so you need some kind of paper. And I heard the Chemex one is a really good one. So let me know what kind of paper or filter you like to use for your pour over coffee. Let me know everything I need to know about pour over coffee. I'm so excited to hear your guys' inputs. And yeah, so I'm just going to leave that there and move on to a few things that I got the kids. I got the kids two books. I'll put the books up here on screen so you guys can see what books I got. They are both by Joan Clausen and I love his illustrations so much and all of his books so far. We have many, many of his books and they're just great. They are just like the most aesthetic, cute stories and storybooks and my kids absolutely love them and I'm going to put them in the kids Easter baskets this year. So those are away in the closet right now and the kids are sleeping and I was not about to rumble through my closet and wake the kids up that is not okay so i'm gonna cover the box up real quick where my address is because i mean obviously this is the monster jam this is the monster jam set of monster trucks so my son's birthday is coming up really soon in like a month and we wanted to how do you open this babe did you shut it you taped it oh Okay, so my husband taped it back up because we already opened it. We had to see what it looked like. All right, so opening up the Monster Jam truck set. This is the Monster Trucks. My son loves Monster Trucks lately, and he has already a bunch of them, so we just kind of thought it would be fun. So this is in the Monster Jam box, and then it tells you like all the ones that come in there, which is really cool. And they look like they're really good quality. So these are the real Monster Jam trucks. So these are real monster trucks that are in the Monster Jam races, I guess. And so we got him a little collection. I don't know. He has a few real ones from Monster Jam, but only like two. And they're from the dollar store. So I really wanted to get him something that I think he'll love. He's going to be so surprised. So when you open the box, it looks like this. So colorful honestly so pretty and they have a whole bunch of the ones so they have grave digger I'm not gonna go through all of them because I don't know if you guys are interested in that but he's gonna love them they have Megadon which is like a shark one he's gonna be so excited my favorite one of course would be like the Dalmatian one like I thought this one was so cool, but these are real Monster Jam monster trucks. So if you guys know anything about Monster Jam and monster trucks, you guys already know who a lot of these people are. And this, this one's pretty cool too. <laughs> this one's zombie, so it's kind of scary. Or Noah would say spooky. Gotta hit that old school beauty blogger thing. There we go. So this is zombie. So there's a whole bunch of them in here. There is like 20 or 12. There's 12 in here. So he's going to be really excited. We also got him something else for his birthday. That's like a bigger gift. But he's going to be absolutely ecstatic about these. So anyways, so that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I don't do hauls very often just because I don't shop on this massive scale very often but when I do I asked if you wanted to see it you guys said yes uh, also I just want to give a reminder that material things are just not everything and they're fun to get every now and then and treat yourself for sure I definitely think everybody should treat themselves but at the end of the day material things don't matter it's all about relationships and honestly relationships and love at the end of the day so none of this stuff really matters but it's fun to have and treat yourself so yes anyways thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you in the next one bye and let me know any coffee tips let me know what your favorite item was let's talk in the comments <laughs> bye you guys